Welcome back to the shop. Welcome back to Free America. So this is the second time I've uh, put this Iraqi M80 helmet in a video. Um, I, I can leave a link uh, to the first video uh, in, in the comments down below. So this is an Iraqi M80 helmet. Um, they're made in South Korea. And this one has the... Iraqi military marking in it. I don't know if you can see that or not. But uh, so obviously it has been painted tan. Now I captured this helmet in 2003 in Iraq, and uh, you can see it's it's kind of messed up. So I um, it was full of biological matter, if you want to say. So I had to take all of the webbing and chin straps off, right? Because it was just nasty. And, and I washed the rest of it um, underneath the, the tan paint over the green helmet. You can see little red markings right here. So those are probably unit markings. Oftentimes you see a number on the back, like a big yellow or white circle with a number on it, and that, that's the number of the soldier. So, I was actually uh, talking to someone earlier today, as I was uh, talking about U.S. military 1980s helmet liners, and we were, we were talking about the clip-in uh, helmet liners, right? So, the webbing. So, these little clips right here are designed to take clips um, that hold the webbing and headband thing um, in the helmet. And these three fixtures right here are designed to hold the nape strap. So <laughs> I never thought about it uh, before today, but the, the U.S. military used the exact same system uh, in the 1980s. And my question now is will a U.S. military 1980s liner insert, you know, clip-in liner insert, will that work in this helmet? So I'm going to take you along for that trip. Um, what I have right here is a nape strap. Um, I think this one is new. It's never been issued. And... I have the clip-in or snap-in liner. So let's let's look at that by itself for just a second. All right. So what we have here is the standard post-Vietnam era 1970s and 80s helmet liner insert. Now. Earlier versions of the US M1 helmet liner uh, used permanent attachments to the inside of the helmets. Um, and I have a, a couple of videos about that and I'll, I'll put links to those in the um, description below as well. And you see what this one says, suspension assembly, ground troops, helmet liner. It gives the national stock number and the DLA contract number, which, I'm pretty sure that says DLA 100-85, which means this was manufactured in 85 by Winston-Salem Industries for the Blind. So, and the way these work is these three parts in the back are adjustable, so you can adjust for the depth of the of the helmet liner. <clears throat> And these little clips are what go on the studs that are inside the helmet. So, so let's try it, shall we? So, so here's my Iraqi M80 helmet. 
Um, and it's important to understand these three adjustable parts, one, two, three, go in the back and the three fixed parts go in the front, okay? So when we put it in the helmet, we want to make sure that we line this up, this clip up with the back, all right? Ooh, I can hear it crunching. It's crunchy dirty. Um, and, oops, popped right out. Oh, it did go in. Okay. Try this one. Okay. There we go. This is really hopeful because it would be nice to be able to have a liner in this thing. Uh oh, there we go. There we go. And last one. Uh oh, see? Not perfect. Mm. All right, so maybe it's not going to work. Well, I think it is going to work. Yeah. Well, how about that? So, if you're like me, and you brought one of these helmets home, and you had to, you know, take off everything that was contaminated, um, just know that you can use these U.S. military liner insert. That's that's interesting, and I'm glad. So let me see if this will fit. Don't worry, these things are a pain in the ass to work on American homes, too. All right, I'm going to mess with this for a minute, and then I'll come back and show you whether or not it works. All right, I am happy to report to you that it does work. So, if you are like me and you have an M80 helmet that you either had to remove uh, the liner from or the liner is missing, um, whichever, right? I just realized I put that in twisted. <laughs> you can use a US military issue 1980s clip-in helmet liner webbing assembly. So, awesome. Man, that makes me happy. Um, so, it seems a little bit cleaner now, I think. All right. So, let me know what you think. Um, if this was helpful or educational or entertaining or any of those, give me a thumbs up. 
Um, if not, by all means, give me a thumbs down. If you give me a thumbs down and share it with somebody you hate, maybe they'll give me a thumbs up. The, um, the like I said, the original liner, if I'm not, I'm trying to remember, but if I'm not mistaken, the original liner was not green. The chin straps were definitely tan. Um, and when I had to rip all that stuff out of there, obviously I didn't, you know, I didn't photograph it or anything like that. So, um, so again, I hope this is helpful. God bless America. Thanks for being here. See you next time. Mm -hmm.